This video of Davy Fogarty got 3.6 million views and I made it. I edited it. So in this video, I'm going to break down how I made this viral video for Davy Fogarty. Just a disclaimer that Davy doesn't like it when I say that I made this video because obviously it's on his channel, but I made it. <laughs> So this video follows the classic hero's journey. That is a storytelling technique that has been widely used in so many superhero movies. Think about Batman. Batman is born, his parents are rich and his parents die. I mean, somebody kills them in an alleyway and then Batman becomes the Batman and then he goes and beats supervillains, Joker, all these people. And then throughout his journey, he becomes the Dark Knight and people hate him. And then he realizes that he is acting out of anger and resentment and then he changes himself and decides that he doesn't want to be the Batman anymore. I'm sorry if you haven't seen Batman. I just spoiled the entire series for you. But this is the classic hero's journey. A hero starts a journey and then meets with a obstacle and then he tries to get over that obstacle. During the entire experience, his personality changes, the way that he weaves the world changes and then he comes out and gets the ultimate reward. This is hero's journey. So let's go through the video and break down exactly how we created it to go viral. Let's first talk about the two main metrics that we need to look at when you are posting a video on YouTube, CTR and retention. These are the only two things that you need to be worrying about. CTR means the click through ratio. This is your thumbnail, how many people are clicking through when they see the thumbnail on YouTube homepage. And retention is how many people are retaining on your video, how many people are actually watching your video through to the end. You can notice how on this thumbnail I'm saying from 500 to half a billion dollars. And then a big smiley face of Davy in the middle. And I also included the very very futuristic, very lush background in the back. The contrast is him going from zero dollars to half a billion dollars. But you can see that on the thumbnail it says 500 million dollars, but you can see how in the title I made it, how he went from zero to half a billion dollars. I thought half a billion sounds more intense than 500 million. Billion is always better than millions. And also notice how I've included five years. Anybody can go from zero to half a billion dollars in 10 years, but not everybody can do it in five years was my thought process. I mean, I actually don't have permission to go to the dashboard and show you how the thumbnail performed, but I can assure you it got really good results. It was floating around 10 to 15% in the beginning. So out of 100 people who saw it, about 15 people clicked through. And then the more and more people saw it, the CTR dropped, but more people came to watch the video is what that means. Cool, let's stop there. We want to talk about the retention next. All right, so let's watch how this video starts. My name's Davey and this is my story, how I went from $500 to 500 million. I was a very insecure kid. I was slightly pudgy and so within the first three seconds, we are getting right into what's gonna be in this video. This is my story of how I went from 500 to half a billion dollars. I was a very insecure kid. I was. If you notice, I forgot to fade out this arrow and it really killed me after I posted this video, but it seems like the people didn't care. Slightly pudgy and... And then as soon as we give the intro of what this video is going to be, Davy immediately talks about what he was like when he was a child. And then I immediately put a picture of him when he was a kid to draw that connection. Now I'm on the Australian financial rich list. I'm this screen is one of the biggest reasons that this video went viral. We needed really solid evidence of Davy's success and financial review is a widely known thing and Young Rich List is a widely known thing as well. And Davy got listed right under Margaret Robbie, which was great for us to show that this is where he is now and this is where he used to be. That contrast is what hooking people in. Oh, how did he get close to Margaret Robbie? And everybody knows Margaret Robbie from Wolf of Wall Street, if you know what I mean. 
Me, Margot Robbie, I have bought my dream home. And then we immediately go into his successes, like he bought his dream home, he bought his dream car, he bought a car for his girlfriend. All of these quick successes are solidifying his success from how he went from this slightly pudgy kid to this massive success. What people want to learn now is how did he do it? And that's what this video is about. My girlfriend, a dream car. I don't actually like telling these stories. Sometimes I feel like they come off very, very arrogant. And this was really cool as well. This was not even in the script. Davey actually did that right off the bat only because he actually doesn't want to come off as arrogant in his content. So he just said it and it just immediately puts him on the pedestal as a humble, rich person. And that makes people keep watching. As you can imagine, I'm just trying to explain how every single second of this video is contributing to its retention. Especially for people that don't know me and I'm slightly introverted, but it is a really, really good story for young entrepreneurs to hear and there's lots of lessons. So here it is. This and then we are again solidifying the story by saying this is a really good story for the young entrepreneurs to hear because there are lots of lessons. So we are talking directly to the ideal audience who should be watching this video and we are telling them, look, you should watch this because there are so many lessons in this story. It's not just a story which is super, super powerful. And this is where the hero's journey begins. This is my story from $500 to Next, this is one of the biggest reasons that this video really worked because within the first 30 seconds, people can see how this video is going to progress. Oh, there's a path, there are milestones and they are now hooked to watch this. They are going to lock their eyes into one of the milestones and then see, oh, first 100,000 in the bank. I want to know how he achieved it. This was really, really impactful. To 500 million in just five years. So I was born in a, not a huge city. In a... And then we start the hero's journey. As you can probably hear, you can see the music change that I have done there. In the first 30 seconds, I had a very high ambient, very hopeful, like a lot of orchestral sort of music that is going in the background and then right after he starts the story i go into a very sentimental piano vibe which allows him to tell the story and put emphasis on his story and people are put into a certain emotion to make them understand his story and be sentimental with him australia it's called adult and then I'm establishing, all right, this whole thing takes place in Adelaide. Like he was born in Adelaide. He's now living in Adelaide as well. This whole thing is taking place in Australia. So it's very important to establish where this story is going to take place as the first thing. Adelaide. I was a very insecure kid. I was the... Cool. So now he's going through the hero's journey. I'm not going to go through this entire video and talk to you about the hero's journey, but in simple terms, he is an insecure kid and then he is uh, failing in class. His teachers start to blast him and then he gets into trouble. So right at the beginning of his journey, he is facing all these troubles is what he's explaining in the beginning of the story. And then at some point, his Teachers also tell him that he's stupid, which is contradicting to what he has achieved in life, which we already explained at the beginning. So this is keeping people retained. This is keeping people watching more because they want to understand if teachers told him that he's stupid, how was he able to get half a billion dollars within five years? School or even just stop supporting me overall. I felt a deep feeling of shame at that point. I knew that there was something within me. I knew that I wasn't stupid and I had a decent. All right, now because of all these external things that he's receiving, he is now starting to think, oh shit, I'm not actually stupid. I can do all of these things. I should change. And this is where his first emotion starts getting out. And you can hear how the music is contributing to the overall emotion of this section. Enough to make a good life for myself. But it wasn't until I was scrolling through YouTube, I used to watch mind-numbing viral videos, Charlie bit me, and I came across all of the old Nike commercials. These were so 
so so exhilarating in every single way they would you would watch them and you just feel like you could run all right cool now he's talking about how he is getting inspired by all of these nike commercials and michael jordan and all of these people because he's also giving a hint of the platforms that he was on when he was a kid youtube is one of the first few places that davy actually start learning about e-commerce and facebook ads and all of these things that contributed to his success late in life which is a really cool hint if you know what i mean i watched the jordan commercial where he talks about how many game winning shots that he's taken and he's lost after that moment i started to pick up that all greatness was was just a willingness to work hard and fail so cool now he has learned his first lesson just like batman batman's parents die and then batman learns if he doesn't take control of his own life he's not going to be able to take revenge from the people who killed his parents he wants to make gotham a better place and that's why he starts to become batman and this is exactly what davy's story is he's being called stupid in his school days and because he gets upset he goes on youtube and starts watching all of these inspiring videos and he learns very very quickly that all greatness is all about willingness to fail first i needed to get better grades i needed to get a job and i needed to go to university all right cool now this is where the hero is starting to create a plan to get over his hurdles Dave is going to get better grades, he's going to get a job and then he's going to go to university. You already know that this plan did not work. So this is going to make you keep watching because you want to know what is going to happen to his plan. Is he going to feel bad again because this plan is not going to work or did this plan work? All of these questions are going to pop up in the audience mind subconsciously and they're going to keep watching. All right, cool. So like I said, I'm not going to take you through the entire video. I'm just going to summarize it for you really, really quickly. If you want to watch this entire video, the video link is in the bio. You should go and watch it. It's really, really inspiring. But what happens next is that Dave is going to go to university. He achieves those two steps in his plan. But the last step, which is going to the university and past university, he goes to study mining engineering and he immediately realizes that he does not have a passion for it and then what happens is he starts his first business i was able to sell advertising on those in he starts creating Instagram pages and then he starts creating recipes and stuff like that. And then he starts this because then he can get advertisers to come and advertise on his platform on Instagram. This is when Instagram started popping off and social media was becoming a huge thing. So from there onwards, he starts his first business and then he fails that business. So one of the most important things that you need to identify in a hero's journey, that hero does not keep on succeeding. If the hero keeps on succeeding, the story does not become really enticing to watch or the people are not going to retain because they are going to feel like, oh, this story is all about winning, 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 winning. But that is not how real life is. Real life is all about obstacles and all these crazy things that we come across that makes us feel like we are losing. But the point of the hero's journey is that the hero is after something. In this case, Dave is after his revenge, like he wants to show people that he is smart enough to achieve something and that is what he's trying to do. So once he fails his first business, he gets really, really upset and then his dad makes him wear shoes with rocks inside them and ask him to walk and then he says, oh, I can't walk with rocks inside and then his dad just puts the rocks out and gives back the shoes and tells him to walk again and then he can walk and then dad tells him if you keep rocks in the shoes you won't be able to walk just like how you keep all the losing moments in your life in your heart you are not going to be able to go on your journey so this is a huge moment in Davy's life and this just shows that hero does not have the ability to do everything by themselves this is why even batman has robin robin comes and helps batman and that dynamic creates so much of hope for people who are watching because people know that they can't do things by themselves they actually need somebody else to come support them everybody needs support nobody's going to be able to do something by themselves there might be anomalies in the world but 
a hero's journey requires some sort of support for them to unravel the next part of their journey. And then David starts a business after business after business until he goes to Melbourne and starts learning from people like Greta Van Riel, who are the legends in e-commerce in Australia. And then he finally comes across Carmen Blankets, which ultimately becomes his success story. And then after Carmen Blankets, he stumbles upon Udi and then Udi just goes crazy and then it makes him so much money and becomes a millionaire but in this journey he realizes at the end that he was not doing any of this to prove that people who doubted him wrong he realizes that he's constantly challenging himself and this has become his life's purpose of becoming the best version of himself that is the classic hero's journey a hero starts the journey of some sort of uh, emotion or some sort of an emotional thing that is bothering them but towards the end of it the hero realizes oh i did not even do these things because i wanted to take revenge the, the hero realizes i did all of this because there was a bigger purpose in my mind that i wanted to achieve like batman batman just wanted to make the world a better place nothing else that he wasn't trying to take revenge from the people who killed his parents and finally this video got three 3.6 million views over time because if you see the retention curve it's crazy people actually stay from the beginning until the end they're hooked for the entire time there are so many things that i didn't cover in this video about sound design the sfx how the text and everything has been used one of the biggest things about this video is how much of b-roll that i have used to portray what Davey is talking about when he's talking about Vietnamese roles, for example. I'm putting all the pictures that I had of him starting his Vietnamese roles business. And also there was so much of B-roll of him hanging out with his friends, which actually proves that he went through all of these things that he's saying that he went through. And it creates a better story always to have that kind of proof. And also it's very important to not cover the A-roll with a lot of B-roll all the time because that clearly loses retention. Especially when there are really small assets, you can just put the assets on the side and show them when the story is being told and that's gonna keep your retention at a really high level. Anyway, if you want me to break down videos like this, just let me know in the comment section. I have a course on school that teaches you how to start your own video editing agency the link is in the bio i'm the owner of editors club and i manage creators like davey fogarty jane lu matthew lupri kenny lee greta van real most of the top australian entrepreneurs are working with us to make their content and if you like to make content with us as well you can go to the link below and inquire on our website i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you next time peace